Hello, Heather Briggs, Independent Cincy Consultant. I am here to finish my first snips video of the new transition set. So I just made a video of the new release category and now I am going to move on to the spring and summer category. So um, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, and here we go. Uh, Bamboo Yuzu. I don't know what to do because I am always the one who loves more. That's my thing. Mm, that one's one. good. I like that one a lot. I gave the guy my ATM code. What is your ATM code? Four two. Very funny. Very good. Job. Definitely has a sage smell to it. Um, but not too overly powering. Um, it reminds me of one that I smelled earlier. I can't remember which one, but it smells really good. Definitely smell the bamboo. I like it. Okay, bamboo yuzu. Imagine a Japanese garden as you breathe in dewy bamboo, tranquil lo lotus flower, and fresh yuzu with hints of sage. Which one had the lotus flower before? Mm. Oh, the the cactus flower or flower lime. That would be why. It reminded me, it smelled very familiar. The next one is going to be Bora Bora Blossom. Mm. That one smells good. Mm, that one's got a very sweet smell to it. There's definitely fruity in there. Mm, I like that. I'm going to mark that one down. That one's a good one. Bora Bora Blossom. Get lost in a balmy combination of succulent island fruits and lush orchid. Balanced with a kiss. A fresh green violet leaf. Mm, I like that these ones aren't too florally. Fresh cut daisies. I bet this one's gonna be. Let's see. Oh, yes. Very much smells like daisies. Very flowery. It smells like the fresh daisies. That name fits it perfectly. A meadow, a, wa a meadow awash ace in summer blooms, freshly cut grass and clover with daisies, buttercups, and ivy. Next I have Havana Cabana. Let's smell it. Havana Cabana. Something like that. Mmm. That one's coconut. Smelling like uh, mm, pineapple-y. I can definitely smell that. Almost pina colada-ish. I like that one. Let's see. What does that one say? Luscious melody of pineapple, oranges, bananas, and berries. So not so much coconut as the pineapple and bananas is what I was smelling. There's something in my eye. Alright. The next one is called Jumping Jelly Beans. Hmm, let's see what this one smells like. Mmm. That one smells like the Jelly Belly Factory. I went there as a kid. And yes, very much so. I know I said something about it in my last video, but I love, love how certain scents just remind you of something from your childhood or something from your past. I'm going to write down that one because I liked it a lot. Okay, the next one. Let's see if I can say this. Kahiku or K 
Kaiko Hula. Let's see what this one smells like. That's your perfume. This one definitely has a floral scent to it. Like Hawaiian flower. I could smell that. Let's see what the book has to say about it. Say aloha to the exotic passion fruit, mango, and papaya. Just so it's mostly just fruit. It just reminded me of what I would think Hawaii would smell like. But I haven't been there, so maybe I'm completely wrong. Um, I forgot to read Jumping Jelly Beans. Crisp pear and apple, zesty lemon and sugar evoke sweet childhood memories. They knew what to, they knew what they were doing. Okay, the next one is called Lemon Verbena, Verbena. Let's see here. Very much lemon. Mm -hmm. That one smells very lemony. Let's see. Fresh lemon zest, bright lime, and verbena leaf. Okay, lilacs and violet. I'm not sure about this one. Whew, yes, this smells like a lilac tree. I'm actually allergic to lilacs. Um, Scentsy doesn't normally make me act up. Like, my allergies bother me even when it's something I am allergic to. It just kind of gives me a little bit of a tickle on my nose. Um, but that's exactly what this smells like. It's a fresh lilac bush. Um, they used to grow outside my house. So, definitely a familiar scent. Um, but it makes me sneeze. Or feel like I need to sneeze. Perfect co combination of lilacs and violets. The smell of spring. All right, next is Lucky in Love. I've heard a lot about this one. I know it's a pretty popular one. Mm. Mm. It does smell good. It's definitely a summery smell. Um... I can definitely yeah. smell the orange hints in it. Can we just Let's see. Sweet bouquet of mandarin, bergamot, and orange with a hint of peach and berries. Lush gardenia is the next one. All right, everybody leave the room. I need to talk to Kim. Okay, you know what? Actually... Gardenia flower, yes. This is a pretty popular scent, um, and I can definitely smell it. It smells really good, um, very florally. The creamy scent of classic gardenia with a whisper of tuberose. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. You are my only sunshine, is the next one. There's never a park in this area. Because everyone's already here, so often. Mm. Right now, I'm missing the point. I, you need to take me seriously, Ken. Does that mean no more sexy Easter bunnies? Mm, I like that one. I don't know. 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 I don't I'm going to drop all my testers here. Start your day with a smile as you experience golden tuberose and jasmine balanced by sandalwood and vanilla and glowing amber. I liked that. Okay, the next one is called Paradise Punch. Mm. Very much like a Hawaiian punch. Um, the smell of this actually reminds me of my aunt's house. Mmm, I like it a lot. I'm going to have to put this one down. A melody of Indian orange and sunny lemon juice, ac or acaya berries, and star fruit. Mmm, paradise punch. Definitely writing that one down. 
Pineapple sorbet. Let's see. Mmm. Very much like pineapple. It's like you cut into a fresh pineapple and took a big smell. Mmm. I like that one. Sweet and tart, refreshing like a scoop of pineapple sorbet. Sea salt mist is the next one. Mmm. Again, I've never been to the beach, but I think this is what the ocean would smell like. It's got like that salty smell. Definitely sweet. Oh, it smells good. I like that one. I'm gonna have to get that one too. You're really good at Conjure a gentle tide laughing against driftwood, a rustle of beach grass, a spray of ocean mist and sea salt, bright mandarin and sultry amber. Okay, sea sun and fun. I can get it open here. That one. You can still smell the bar, but I would definitely say that one has a floral scent to it. It smells really good, though. Oh, I'm just so looking forward to summer. Oh, my gosh. Summer in fun, a splash of salt water, orange twists, sc scattered lily petals, and rays of sunny amber. Alright, sunburst blooms. Mmm, what does that remind me of? I definitely get or smell the orange citrus in there. Grapefruit, maybe. Definitely citrus. Um, and I can definitely smell a floral undertone. Um, I like it. I like it. Let's see. Cheerful lemon and pink grapefruit drenched in fresh air and sunshine with or tendrils of honeysuckle and dancing jonquils. That one's a hard one to say. Okay, for the very last one in this category, we're going to go with watermelon mint. Mmm. You can definitely smell the mint a little bit. It's not, it definitely smells completely different than Watermelon Patch. Um, watermelon Patch was my favorite of the Bring Back My Bars. I ended up buying like 12 bars or something ridiculous because I didn't want to run out. But this one smells good. It's definitely got a summer mint. It almost smells you can imagine a watermelon mojito, something like that. I would call it that. Eating watermelon and drinking a mojito at the same time. Mmm, yep, I can do that. Okay, so the next category, I'm just going to go ahead and finish out what I have left. Um, I've got like nine cents left, so we'll just go on to these other categories. This one is out of the romance category. And it is called Blonde Wood and Moonflower. Mm. Definitely has that sandalwood smell again. Um, definitely very floral, but I do like it. It's a soft and like more sensual smell, I guess. But makes sense, it's in the romance section. Pale, warm wood and amber envelop. Demure moonflower, delicate white roses, and upturned lilies in a modern magical fragrance. All right, still in the romance, we have coconut flower. Yeah, now I'm gonna miss my flight. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, stop yelling. Stop yelling. Pretty much falls right under its name. 
You got that floral scent and the coconut, but it's not a super strong fragrance. Um, I definitely say it's a little bit softer than some of the others, especially some of the other coconut ones. Um, it'd be interesting to see how it is when it's melted, but it doesn't smell as strong as a lot of the coconut scents I've smelled from our other line. Um, graceful tropical blossoms meet luscious pineapple in the sudden subtle scent of coconut milk in a feminine floral fragrance. So it's meant to be more subtle than the other coconuts that we have. It smells really good though. My nose itches. A lot of smelling today, but I was just too excited to wait any longer. Mm, sorry, Mystical Magnolia. <sighs> definitely the floral magnolia. You can definitely smell that. Mmm, but it smells good. It smells really good, actually. Um, I like that one, too. I think I'm going to have to buy, like, every one of these. Southern Charm in a Fragrance. Pure white magnolias with flirty green leaves and sultry notes of rosewood and amber. Mmm. Ooh, this one's called Pink Haze. Something about that just makes me want it. If I couldn't smell what I was getting, I would probably order this one. Let's see if I would have made a good decision. Mmm, yes. It's sweet and definitely like a berry, fruity, fruity smell. Um, it's subtle. Um, most, of the, most of the scents in the romance category are very subtle. And this one definitely is. Mmm, that one smells so good. A sweet confection of berries, nectarines, vanilla laced whipped cream nestled in marshmallow fondant. That's where that sweet comes from, that marshmallow. Oh my goodness. Sid Sidonia Sunset is the last one for the romance category. Mmm. This one definitely has some floral going on in it. It's a little bit stronger for compared to a lot of the romance, like I was just talking about, but it does smell really good. Let me see. I'm excited to see what it smells like, what it's scented with. Just as the setting sun paints the desert sky, flamboyant desert lily and va vanilla orchid enliven creamy coconut milk and en enthrall jasmine. Definitely more strong than some of the other ones, but it is still a good one. I think Pink Haze is definitely my favorite out of the new romance. Forgot to mark it down, but I'm going to... Okay, Dark Harbor is the man scent that's brand new. You know, we got rid of Business Casual. Um, February is the last time you can get that, so if that one's your favorite, make sure you put in an order with me in the next couple days. Mmm, Dark Harbor smells really good. This one probably reminds me of X body spray a little bit more than any of the other man scents that I've ever smelled, but that's not a bad thing. That's definitely, I guess, my generation. That was the thing everybody did in school, and that's what it reminds me of. Mmm, I like that one. I'm going to have to mark that one down so I can get some scent circles for my husband's car. Okay, so we have just a couple in the, oh, just one in the Corner Cafe. Um, we got rid of Central Park Pralines and replaced it with Coconut Pumpkin Pie. Ooh, very strong pumpkin. Definitely has the um, spices to it. Personally, I like pumpkin smells like near Halloween and Thanksgiving. I'm not really an all-year-round pumpkin smell 
kind of person, but it definitely smells good. If I were going to hold on to it until October, I would definitely like that one. A classic dessert enjoyed, enjoys an unexpected exotic touch as pumpkin puree, grated nutmeg, and ma maple sugar are heightened by a hint of coconut shavings. Okay, so the very last three that I have are in the kids' scents. And I have fallen in love with pretty much every one of the kids' scents that I've ever smelled. So, I'm actually most looking forward to the essential oil, or the natural oils from the Kids Sense, um, Juicy Pear and Sweet Melon, which I ordered my kit yesterday, so as soon as those come in, I'm going to do a smell, a smell demonstration of those ones too. So, this one is called Oodles of Orange, Whew. and that's what it smells like. It smells like orange, orange, orange. Maybe a tiny bit of something else, but orange is what I smell when I smell that. Um, definitely stronger than the citrus pop. Um, let's see. Kids will love this sweet citrusy scent punched up by fresh pineapple, crisp papaya, mango blossom and ripe bunches of tropical berries the papaya <coughs> excuse me the papaya is what i smelled really strong in that one okay so the next one is rockin ruby raz let's smell this one mm. this one smells like raspberries but it almost smells like maybe like a raspberry snow cone, kind of like a little bit of an artificial, not definitely like a kid scent, like raspberry gum maybe. Mm, I like it though. I'm going to mark that one down too. Like I said, the kid scents always end up being some of my absolute favorites. Uh, wild watermelon, it happens to be one of my absolute favorites. It smells like watermelon bubble gum. Rock and Ruby Raz, birthday parties and punch bowls are and presents piled high. This fruity blend of juicy orange, fresh strawberries, and sweet candy glaze is a child's best friend wrapped up in one perfect fragrance. Okay, my very last one. Thank you all for watching today. Let's smell it. This one is called Jungle Jam. Mmm, mm, I like this one. This one definitely has something going on with it. It's got fruity, but maybe something else. Um, something sweet. Mmm, I like it a lot. That one's definitely going on one of my top favorites. Mmm, I can't wait. Uh, set off a jungle adventure surrounded by candied pear, ripe pineapple, Fresh picked strawberries and even a delightful dollop of whipped cream just for fun. It must be that whipped cream that scent that just like was different, but I like it a lot. I'm definitely going to mark that one down. And I absolutely cannot wait for all of these fragrances to be available in full size bars. I have several party dates open for March. So if you would like to be one of the first to get your hands on these scents or you'd like and you're ready to smell them for yourself, please contact me and we will get you down. I am so excited for this transition. It has been an amazing, amazing experience to get to smell all these new scents. I absolutely love when Scentsy gets the new ones in. So Thank you all for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks.